Hey everyone, it's Aaron here with GeoAce. I am going to be going through another tutorial today about QGIS and specifically how we can use QGIS and QField together for field collection. So uh, it's going to be a pretty short one. We're going to talk about map themes. I'm going to hop right into it. So uh, this is what we're going for here. We have an imagery map theme. You can see the green, the light blue, and the white. And then we also have a open street map theme, which is dark blue, dark green, and some orange. Um, in addition to changing the base maps back and forth. So this is great if you are toggling between kind of a light background or light based um, base map and then, you know, a darker base map so, such as imagery or something like that. Let's go ahead and clear out uh, what we currently have and we'll get moving. All right, so this should look a little bit more familiar. We only have three layers in the left here. We still have our OSM and imagery base maps from our previous tutorials. And now we're going to make some themes out of all of this. So what we need to do first is let's go ahead and make, let's copy these existing layers and group them all together. So we're going to group them together first. And then we're going to just call the group, let's call it OSM layers. And then what we can do is we can copy our group, we can paste our group, and then we'll just remove that. And let's go ahead and rename this one. Uh, let's call it imagery layers. Obviously our OSM is already set. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn that off so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna turn on our imagery, so we, again, so we can see what we're doing. And let's just go ahead and start by brightening up our green. Make it unbelievably difficult to miss. And let's just take our orange and turn it into white. And let's take our border and turn it a hair larger. So it's again, hard to miss. And last but not least, let's take our blue. And you can symbolize these things, by the way, however you want to. So anything that QGIS supports, um, Q field will support, and these will carry through. So um, I'm going to take this color, and I'm just going to turn it into light. So if you want to, you know, if you want to do something like uh, symbolize by category or anything like that, you can do all of that still. But this is just kind of a tutorial. I want to keep this short. So this is why I'm doing it this way. All right. So we have our imagery layers set here. Now all we have to do is go to add theme. And we're just going to call this imagery layers. Okay. Save it. And now for our uh, OSM theme, we just have to kind of we're going to collapse that, turn it off. We're going to turn off imagery. We're going to turn on OSM. And we're going to turn on our OSM layers, which are original ones. And we're going to go to add theme. Or well, let's just name this thing, I don't know, OSM layers. Super creative. OK. Um, and that's all there is to it on the QGIS side. But uh, this is going to be adding maps to QField. So I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, sync up. We're going to push that up to the cloud. OK. Yep, we're sending it from the computer to the cloud. I'm going to perform actions. And just like that, it's done. All right, so we are all downloaded now, and we're good to go. So let's open up our Q field project. And the first thing that you're going to see is we have some different looking symbologies. So we already know that it went through, but just to show you what this looks like within Q field itself, you just go to your settings here and at the top you're gonna to see a map theme. So you'll have the imagery layers, which is our first one that we set and uh, OSM layers. So you can see the other one there. We have our darker green and orange and blue. And again, just to switch back and forth, there you go. Um, again, you can make the symbology as complicated as you need it to be. And uh, my mini rant for the end of this, if you're still here, is that this is probably the most um, underrated uh, feature within QGIS relative to ArcGIS. These map themes can be super helpful if you let them be. Um, not a whole lot of people know that they're there, but I think that they're really, really useful and just a great feature not only for Q field but also just for QGIS in general. So anyway, uh, end, end mini rant. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you want more, just make sure you subscribe and we will talk to you next time. Uh, we're going to be covering um, using 
one field to auto populate fields in uh, another layer next time. So uh, we'll see you next time and uh, thanks and see you soon.